mirror on the wall who is the fairest of them all so nice to finally meet you both of you movie it's incredible and you look amazing Thank no you. matter how evil you are in the movie though <laughs> <laughs> you There's a good. few ugly evil faces I feel that I did. I think that's all I did in this film. There's a lot of like yeah. faces, you know, where you're that. like, ooh, it yeah. doesn't look good. What would you say were the differences and the similarities between these two queens? I think they both want very different things. I think for Ravenna it's about power. And I think for Freya it's more about her own quest to strip love out of the world. How was putting yourself back into Ravenna's skin? I mean, is she more evil than the previous movie, Charlie's? I think so, just purely because a lot of her retaliation is towards her sister, who she really loves, and mm -hmm. we kind of set that up in the beginning of the movie, and I think, I think it's easier to watch somebody, in the first movie she was evil to people that, you know, she didn't really know or that she felt really wronged her. And her sister is just incredibly innocent in all of this, and she manipulates her so brutally. Your sister's power will be unleashed. <laughs> Emily, at the same time, I mean, the main goal in the movie, you keep on taking revenge on Ravenna. Have you ever done this in real life, taking revenge on someone? Well, I feel like I only take revenge on Ravenna right at the end. Right. Um, I'm not a very vengeful person. I prefer forgiveness. What about the costumes? Amazing, incredible. Have you been involved with their design? Oh God, no. I just wear whatever Colleen Atwood tells me. <laughs> Honestly, you just put whatever she creates oh, is better so, than you could ever yeah. imagine or suggest. That's Did it take true. you a long time every day to shoot, to get prepared to shoot? To get ready in yeah, the morning. Yeah, to get ready no, no, no. with the costumes, hair, and makeup, everything. It's incredible. It, took, it was a little time consuming. Yeah, it I mean, I think. It was like crazy. I know, but the white makeup and stuff took a while to you layer were crazy. that on. You didn't take that long. Yeah, we didn't take that long. Chris was... Hemsworth, on the other hand. Oh, yeah. Takes so long in the makeup chair. Well, that's because they have to create his entire yeah. face. Right. He actually it's doesn't like... look like that no, not in at real life. He's really ugly. No, he's not at all. <laughs> we will bring fear. <laughs> Talking about beauty, you're my fashion icon ambassador. I mean, Aww. every woman dream you're about so being Charlize. Oh I want her. Yeah, that's so awesome. I love your energy. This is. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna end here. End no, it. honestly, is this kind of like stressful for you, or is it fun? You know, women looking up to you, your fashion. I mean. Honestly. Oh my god. Well, first of all, I don't know if that's true, but it is. I it am is. Very... Don't you think so? Oh really? god, Hello? yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. very <laughs> rocky. I look like I'm going to an Italian funeral today. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the Godfather. <laughs> um, I I like Emily said about Colleen, I have the most incredible stylist, Leslie Freemar, and I I like like you just said, I don't even ask questions. I mean literally totally trust. she's just it's so incredibly stress-free she knows my body so well like for the Oscar dress I literally I was in Budapest shooting oh, like and she said stunning. what do you want to do and I said honestly I'm so busy with this movie I can't think I got my kids here yeah just do what you need to do and she does that most of the time and, and I'm just most really awkward lucky. moment on a red carpet can you remember I just had one which one at the MTV movie awards what happened I apparently got up from my seat and my dress got a little bit tucked in my ooh, ooh, in your crack so, oh my somewhere God. in there apparently. Who said that? My Someone my publicist it? who didn't even reach and didn't yank it out. Yeah, didn't even reach for a yank. I walked onto the stage. <laughs> and thank God the camera is like mean. were very That's very kind, mean. and then it somehow released. Oh my God! <laughs> it somehow just kind of like That's took a sad. breath of air. <laughs> Hello, huntsman. I've missed you. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, you are two beautiful mothers. You openly talk about motherhood. What would you think your kids will think of your work, and especially this movie, when they grow up? I just hope that, you know, my daughter is proud. Obviously, I want to do everything to make mm -hmm. her proud. And uh, there's certain movies she, that are not appropriate that I've done that, I'll, <laughs> that she'll find just deeply embarrassing when she sees them. When she's at old least enough. 55, I say. Yeah, she should just at least be 55 <clears throat> before she, she sees certain young. stuff I've done. Thank you so much, girls. We love you in Argentina, and it's been an honor Thank to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. much. I'm stronger than all of you. Shall we find out? I'm